Hello beautiful people, it's another beautiful family evening at the park and I just want to quickly make a very, very quick video. Five things you need to know about Qatar. Five things you need to know about Qatar. If you are an unknown subscriber, I want to say thank you for coming back. Thank you for staying tuned. And if you're new here, thank you for joining this family. Please, if you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Oye, Oye Liar. And we are from the Vision Guide. We are the Vision Guide. I have my family on this channel with me. I have my children, the peculiar and precious uh, miracle twins. And today I'm going to be telling you briefly about five things you need to know about Qatar. But don't forget, if you see my face for the first time, if you're just stumbling on our YouTube channel for the first time, please don't go without clicking the subscribe button. Please just hit the subscribe button and please remember to turn on the notification bell so that anytime we upload new video, you get notified. This channel is about uh, family life stories, about raising godly children, it's about showing you how to be intentional about parenting and also we are Nigerian YouTubers and we are based in Qatar and we are going to be touching a few things about Qatar and today I am telling you I'm going to be giving you five things you need to know about Qatar. Let's get started! I am super excited about today's video. I'm very excited about today's video. And the number one thing I want you to know about Qatar, in case you are planning to pay a visit to Qatar or you're planning to be part of the FIFA World Cup 2022. So don't worry, these are some of the things that might be of help to you. And these are the things you might want to know about Qatar before boarding your airplane. All right, number one, Qatar is a very quiet and beautiful place. I'm telling you the truth. It's super quiet and it's super beautiful. We have so many amazing locations in Qatar and most of these places are very quiet. Not until now that things are really picking up before the pandemic is getting, you know, we have a lot of people more. But overall, Qatar is beautiful and it's quiet. So, note that. The second thing I want you to know about Qatar is security. Qatar is a very secured country. When I mean secured country, I meant it secured when i just came to this part of the world over a decade ago i was like what is going on you know sometimes you just sleep without locking the door you can leave your car open and you don't even get to worry about this things are like uh uh this is amazing so if you're planning to come to Qatar, know that you're coming to a very secured country a very safe place just now at the park i was just asking my husband where's your phone and then i realized that he left his phone at the back we you know we have our mat over there quite a distance and it just the phone is just there on the mat you know it's not we are so it's part of our subconsciousness that nobody's going to pick the phone nobody's going to do this it's a very secure place so it's a very nice place to come get that <laughs> this third point is very important and i really want you to keep it with you it might sound funny but i tell you it's just a simple truth it's a simple truth Qatar is a beautiful place i said that earlier it's a secure place yes also, it's a place that you can be a careless parent if you're not careful. How do I mean? Oh yeah, careless parent. Of course, yes. Because of the high level of security, because of you know the quietness and the serenity, people tend to just leave their children. When you get to the park, sometimes you see a, a child of two years walking around, one plus moving around without any parent. Everybody is relaxed. Nobody is sometimes you don't even see any people be wondering if you're living in a compound you see some children at midnight past midnight without parents and very young they're just playing on their own so parents tend to forget their duty uh, their parenting duty to look after their children because you know they're they are less concerned they are not worried so if you are not intentional about parenting it's very easy for a person for a parent to be a careless one in Qatar you get me please on the line due to the security level so I've, I've been here around this part of the world for over a decade and i've seen so many children roaming around the street walking here and there by themselves you know parents don't care they don't care because nothing is going to happen to them so i want you to get to know that about Qatar. <laughs> though funny but it's the truth yes number four point that you have to know about Qatar that a lot of people that are outside Qatar don't get to know about Qatar is there is freedom of religion People outside Qatar don't get to understand that, okay, what is happening in Qatar? Why are you guys in Qatar? How do you worship in Qatar? How is Qatar? There is freedom of religion in Qatar. So if you're concerned about this aspect and you're planning to come to this part of the world, I want you to know that be rest assured that the freedom of 
religion you can choose to do whatever you want to do and there are places of worship so get that the very last point i'm going to be dropping tonight about the state of qatar is that every resident of qatar needs a sponsor hmm? a sponsor yes a sponsor apart from the qataris if you're here you're not a qatari you have to have a sponsor because before you can get your resident permit we all have a resident permit but you can't just come and say i just want to get the resident permit you have to be under a sponsor we have what we call the family uh, family visa it means for family if you are under family visa it means the wife and the children are under the husband if you are using a family visa maybe you've heard about family visa before it means the husband or the wife is going to be the sponsor the husband rather be the sponsor or the wife somebody must be the sponsor why the wife with a sponsor to the family or the husband we have another sponsor so there is this kind of connection so you have to have a sponsor before you can get your resident permit so on this note today i am just going to be stopping on those five points five things you need to know about Doha Qatar. I'll be coming your way more on things that can be of help to you and you may want to know on Doha Qatar. I'll definitely see you in our next video. We're just out here, we're enjoying the park and PMP are here with me, my husband is here with me. I just said, let me quickly roll this video. Come on PMP, come and say hello to everybody. Come on guys, come on guys, come on guys, come on guys. Hi. All right, all right, precious. Hi. All right, where's daddy, where's daddy? Ooh, we are right here okay we are the vision guide come on sweetheart we are the vision guide i'll be coming your way again please don't forget if you're just seeing us for the first time please help us by subscribing to our youtube channel and turning on the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop new videos and please your comment is very important to us we always say this every time please help us share our videos please 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 they are the only way you can support us Please share our videos and uh, we will appreciate that. Thank you so much in advance. We love, you, we love 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 you. Bye. Bye.